at least time to set the record straight. Since I've come on to this site, uh, I haven't really addressed this problem outright. Um, I left YouTube to avoid this problem. Uh, and so did a lot of people. But the problem followed us here. And uh, what they're doing right now, these people, uh, is they're trying to pretend like they, they've been slighted, that they've been wronged in some way. I want to make sure that you people are aware of what's really going on here. People like Michael Skin and uh, the Honorable Ed Lollington, etc., represent a group called Bandtown. Bandtown, if you look it up, is a group of black hat hackers. Uh, they run a website called Encyclopedia Dramatica, which is nothing more than a, uh, a site full of libelous, slanderous, uh, disgusting garbage, uh, where they have posted uh, pictures of people's children, they have posted uh, pedophilia content, uh, lies, uh, copyrighted information, personal information, people's home phone numbers, addresses, aerial photographs of their houses, and uh, now, let's say, for example, that uh, you're an average Joe with an average job, and uh, one of these scumbags decides he's going to attack you. He starts posting information all over the Internet about you, saying that you're a pedophile. He includes with this your address and your telephone number, all kinds of information about you. It gets all over the place. You lose your job. Have they broken the law? If you listen to them say it, no, they ain't broken any laws. They're doing it for the lulls. It's satire. Now, I've noticed a few people on here who are decent people, and I can tell just by looking at the type of videos that they put up and, uh, you know, the way they interact themselves with others here, who've taken to Mike Skeen's channel and a few others uh, because some of the things he's saying now, they sound like they're coming from a rational individual. He's not. He's a deceptive liar. Uh, you just need to go look through his videos. You'll find that most of them have something to do with me. Whereas you won't see any videos except for this one on here where I specifically talk about him. And I haven't gone to any bother to try to track him down, get his home phone number or address. But uh, if you go to their website, you'll find all kinds of information about me. Uh... Some of it true, most of it not. You can also look up anybody else that's related to YouTube or live video on there and find all kinds of personal details that they have no right to publish. Um, if you think that's funny or you think that is in some way their right, then you are scum. And just don't come around my channel. That's all I'm asking. Uh, I personally don't see how it's funny. I don't think it's legal. I know it's not legal, to be honest with you. Uh, the only problem is that uh, in order to take legal action against it, you got to be rich. So, what it boils down to is, who do you go after? In all honesty, this all started with YouTube. And uh, YouTube telling us that things were going to be okay, they were going to take care of us. They lied to us. They used us to get popular, to get their billions, and uh, just discard us. Discard us. They uh, pushed us out of the way in favor of these scum, because these scum bring them ratings, I guess. They bring them some attention. And now they've got more attention whores, like the drama tube, who uh, is nothing but a complete joke. Uh, my personal belief, and I've been told that I'm wrong on this, and I really don't care whether people think I'm wrong. I think he's in cahoots with these uh, Bandtown scum. Uh, I think they're quite well aware of who he is and what he's doing, and, uh, you know, they're getting some lulls out of it. But to the, those of you out here who have latched on to Michael Scan thinking he's a nice guy, or that uh, somehow he's telling you some truths about me, he's not. Okay? The reason they're after me has nothing to do with me hating or the, this dumb list that I made. Ain't got a damn thing to do with that. 
What it has to do with is the fact that they attacked people. They attacked Geriatric 1927. They attacked Zipster 08. They attacked Pixel B. They attacked Italian Stallionette. Um, they attacked Goth Reaper. Drove her off. She won't come back. Because they were different. Because they were handicapped. They were elderly. Uh, they made threatening phone calls to people's houses, threatening to kill people's children. Uh, and I stood up to them. That's what they're after me about, because I stood up to them. They call me a hater, because I stood up to them. My videos have gotten flagged, because I stand up to them. A couple of times I gave up on trying to stand up to them, and you know why I gave up? It's because some of you people out there, who I know are decent people, are also really stupid. You listen to these people. Instead of realizing that anybody that would have anything to do with putting this kind of thing out there, isn't trustworthy, you go and you listen to their side of the story, like Zen Archer does. I don't want to block everybody. I want everybody to be able to have their say. No, it don't work that way. So everybody doesn't get their say. Certain people are scum and certain people don't get their say because they go around and they hurt people. Now, Zen Archer wants to pretend he's all Zen about things. You know, well, he's the last thing he is is Zen. He's enabling these scum to cause trouble in our community. He's going around and allowing them to get their say. They don't deserve a say. On any other website, any other website that has a community on it, these kind of people would be banned. And I don't mean banned as in kicked off so they can make another account. I mean banned. They would not be allowed back on. And there would be moderators set in place to stop them from coming back. But for some reason on YouTube and live video, there's nothing like that. You know why? Because this kind of thing... This controversy is good for their business. So be it. But if you folks want to be stupid about it and listen to these people and let them get away with what they're getting away with, I'm not going to help anymore. There ain't a damn thing I can do to help because you're allowing it to happen. And all I know is I'm seeing my name get drug into things over and over and over again because people are dumb. Because you're listening to the same people who, last month, were calling people on the phone saying they were going to kill their children and rape their wives. I don't do kind of things like that. You've never seen me do anything like that. All I've ever done is try to help people around here. You know, and you'll hear a bunch of rumors and lies about me, and you'll believe them. Why? You know, you should judge people on their actions and not on words. And if you could, you could use people's actions and you look at what people like Mike Skian have done, and then you judge me as the bad guy, give me a break. You know, it just makes me sick to listen to this. You know, I, I've seen a couple of people who I, I went to their channels, and I looked at them, and I'm like, why is this person on Mike Skian's channel saying things like this, like, like he's a nice guy? Mike Skian is not a nice guy. Mike Skian is evil. And he's deceptive. You know, he's, he's putting on a nice face right now. But go look at his videos. Look at all of his videos. Go to YouTube and look at his videos on there. You know, this guy is not about being a nice guy. And he thinks, you know, he, he says he's only doing it for laughs. It isn't laughs, folks. It isn't laughs. Uh, it may look like laughs to the casual observer. But that's because you guys haven't done the research. You haven't looked into it. And it's not my job to present all this evidence to you. You've got to go out there and do it for yourself. It's not up to me to do it for you, okay? I'm simply telling you this is the way it is. Here's where you need to go to look for it, and then you go look for it. But if you're going to go around and listen to these people, you know, and just accept them at their word. Nobody's accepting me at my word. I've noticed that. But you're going to accept them at their word. Then please don't come around my channel. Don't bother me. Don't talk about me. Leave me the hell alone. You know, because there are good people in this community, just like there are still good people in the YouTube community, that they're the ones I'm here for. They're the ones that I want to talk to. They're the ones that I'm trying to help out. If you're not interested in that, if you think I'm scum, if you think Mike Skian is correct, just go away. Don't even, don't mention my name. Just leave me the hell alone. That's all I'm asking. Leave me alone. Because there are good people here, and they're the ones that I'm interested in wasting.